Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to uh, say hey everybody. Um, I'm, I came over to my parents' house real quick uh, to go uh, do some stuff for them and uh, to see them real quick because you know what, guess what? Mother's Day is coming up and tomorrow actually. And uh, it also gave me a good uh, chance to show you my other project and it's been a long time coming because it's my papa's old truck. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, quick story behind this truck, um, me and him were working on it, uh, not, you know, before he passed away. He passed away in 2009. I ended up getting the truck from him, um, you know, after he passed away. Uh, it sat up at my uncle's house, and my uncle was like, well, look, you know, you and your papa are working on this truck. You may as well take it. And, you know, he wanted to give it to me anyway. You know, he told my Uncle Bud that, uh, if you know when I when he passes away that I get the truck so I do have the truck I've had it for a long time um what I'm going to be doing though is uh it needs a new motor we were actually me and him are actually putting in a new motor that we were overhauling uh didn't get the chance to finish but hopefully soon I'll be able to finish the truck and uh it's been a, it, it really has been a long time coming it is a 1982 Dodge Ram 150 and it had a uh, 318 in it but I didn't get the chance but I need to put get a new motor for it um, I lost the keys to it I could not find the key so we ended up taking every all the steering column apart and everything it doesn't have any cracks in the dash even though I need to get some uh, I need to really put some armor all on that but the seats uh, only you know a little bit of issues with the seat but still still in great shape i'd like to get some armor all on that keep them freshened up um you know but it's an old truck and me and him we used to drive this truck i used to take him everywhere in it and once the once the uh truck went bad uh it was but as you can see the little 318 and it's got little dirt daubers that have uh grown in it and it's a single barrel carburetor. It wasn't uh, very strong, but every all these 318s are very reliable engines. Um, but yeah, I can't wait uh, to get it on the road because it would be good to ride in this truck again. And <laughs> everybody, you know, gives me shit for uh, wanting to keep his uh, his spit can because he was he used to chew tobacco a lot. And uh, <coughs> I still have a spit cup in there where he used to leave his tobacco. It wouldn't be his truck if it didn't have spit cup in it because growing up that's all i ever really known him to ever have you know always have by his side so it just wouldn't be like riding with him if i didn't have the spit cup in it i know it might be gross but whatever i don't care it's gonna stay there <laughs> but uh yeah I'm, I'm excited about that project i really have been wanting to put a new motor in it um you know i don't I don't want nothing that's like really fast. It's an old 4x4 truck, you know, and you know, I don't know exactly everything that it's going to need. It's probably going to need new brakes. I definitely need some new tires, uh, the new motor in it. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I can find a 318 somewhere that's sitting, that's uh, real cheap and something I can just throw in and not have to do a lot of work to it and um, might have to put do some transmission work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I'm, I really want to get it on the road again. Here, uh, gas prices spiking, so I probably won't drive it that much. But at least I'll have a little bit of something from him. Uh, but yeah, he, we, we, we're working on it. But uh, also, me and my my friend Sammy, the guy that helped me do the timing in the Miata, or put the new head gasket in the Miata, um, I was also helping me work on the mo, uh, to take the motor out, and then we were going to switch it, but. You know, it, he passed away like, damn flies, man. Um, but he passed away right before uh, we ever got the chance to finish it. So, but I'm looking forward to that project. Um, but it's going to be another YouTube project that will be later on down the road. Need just need y'all to subscribe to this channel and you know help me get it pushed forward. Um, you know, and I'll be able to give you the great content on that gonna paint it you know do everything we need to do to get it looking good again for him but uh, I mean you know I, I don't know I 
almost won't feel like I should keep it the way it is. That's all I've ever really known that truck to be is, you know, just a little rust here and there, but horses beating the shit out of it when they kick it while he was driving through the um through his uh, dirt roads. Yeah, he used to own horses and ride them. Loved them. Um, but he loved Dodge trucks. If there, if there was a man that had Dodge trucks and he didn't, and he, he had, if you couldn't find the part to it, more than likely he had it in his uh, in his yard. He had a he had a small junkyard back there in his in, in, on his land. Uh, he had all kinds of vehicles back there, especially Dodge. But yeah, you wouldn't know what he had in his yard. He had Chrys he had Dodges, he had Chrysler Fifth Avenues, he had Chrysler Lasers, you know, just the Dodge, the Dodge Daytona, not the not the big wing ones. <laughs> Wish he had that. But um but you know the little Daytonas like the lasers and everything. Uh huh. I do remember those the little four cylinder turbos would ride around with him and it would talk to you. Well the laser the Chrysler laser did. It would tell you that you open the door or you need to put your seatbelt on. It would actually talk to you. Um, a car that was pretty much advanced for its time back then. Uh, but I remember it was gold and he had a black one and he had a blue one. You know he just I mean he collect he collect all this stuff and. You know, but I, you know, that's what's left of it, um, and out of his collection of all his, all of his parts and trucks and all that stuff, that's, that's what's left. And I will, I want to keep it going. I want it to drive. I want it to, you know, it hasn't probably dri been driven in the past. I got stuff in my eye, but it probably hasn't been driven in the last 11, 12 years because um, he passed away in 2009. So, but we're gonna do it. We are going to do it and I, like I said, I can't wait. So in the spirit of this being my Popeye's truck, I'm just gonna name this project Popeye. It just fits. Right now I'm headed over to Dollar General. I'm gonna go get my daughter some Pepto. She's not feeling very good. Uh, she got sick, so I'm gonna get her some stuff to calm her stomach. And then I'm going over to Sammy's house because today, well, that 8th was his birthday, so we're going to celebrate it today. So I'll uh, catch you then. I well, finally made it to Sammy. Just sitting here chilling out. We just hit some golf balls across the pond out here. It was fun. Sammy, you have a good birthday? Yeah, it's pretty good, man. <laughs> Went sw swimming in the pond. I swam all the way across. Go back and make it to 60. What's going on? What's up? What's up, man? What's the YouTube channel? Street Glide 919. Alright. I'm gonna go follow you. you. I'm gonna go subscribe to you. Alright, man, go ahead. All right. Sounds like a plan to me. Anyway. That devil right there. <laughs> Ooh, peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh man, I, love I ain't been doing more. I ain't, I ain't been doing much more so like Miata forms of I, as I have just daily life forms right now. Cause I ran out of money. So what's up yeah. with the Miata, man? You said it was overheating and stuff. Or it was overheating the other day. Like, so what? What do you think is the problem? You think it's a thermostat, just like I told you? No, I don't think it's a thermostat. I think it's that it's purged the system of air. Ah, somebody, somebody, well, there's no somebody bleeding, comment. There's no bleeding screw. Unless it's on the bottom. Because I've checked that shit. Um, I don't know. Some guy, well, some guy there's who, no another guy screw. who owns a Miata, he, uh, he looked on the, he, he was the one that told me about it. Keith Johnson, the one that I, that I said I was going to uh, give him, I told him I was going to give him my roll bar out of it when I got rid of the car. He was telling me about purging the system, burping it. So. Well, you gotta burp it, but still, just like I think that's what my, it is, though. Just like in my Buick, you get to burp the system. That has a bleeding screw. You have to bleed it. We might not have found it. Mine's on top of the thermostat housing. There's a little bleeding screw. It's sitting right on top of the V6. Hmm. But. Versus a four-cylinder Miata? No, I don't think that cooling system has a burping. He, he just talked natural, man. That's how I do. I don't think it has a burping. 
like what what you call a oh I do not endorse algorithm I do not endorse drinking it's his choice of course not <laughs> <laughs> hey do do the dance man do the dance <laughs> Kids are nuts. All I'm paying is for a four cylinder. You got a burnt no system. That's all in your radiator cap. Yeah. Do you have a reservoir? Yeah. I have so a reservoir. That's all in your radiator cap. Okay. That should be 16, 17 pounds purging I'm pressure minimum. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You ain't got to break it. I'll, 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 I'll edit you out. <laughs> That's my camera. That's your camera. Say hi. What is this? It's your food, baby. I got one too. Well, that will conclude the video of today. Um, didn't get, having had a lot of time to really get done with uh, to get started on my projects, um, other than the little stuff that I have done, but I will. We are eventually going to get it done. Um, I've been just working some crazy overtime hours, and it's, and I just want to get my videos out there as well. Um, but if this is your first time here, please subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it. Um, you know, I, every day I get more subscribers. Every video I get more subscribers, and that's the way to do it. I mean, that's the way everything's going to get done. Um, so I do appreciate you stopping in and, and viewing my um, content. And I want to say happy birthday to Sammy again. Uh, it was a fun day. Um, you know, I had a few hours to spend with him, and, you know, it was, it was fun. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.